In this video I'm looking at the effectiveness of uh, an intercooler water sprayer. Are they worth putting on a road car? What are the pluses and minuses and what sort of differences can we expect? So in this video I've got the two side-by-side -side, uh, videos. This left side is without the water spray and the right side is with the water spray and you can tell when the water spray is being activated the wipers are going. The, the nozzle that's spraying onto the intercooler I've intercepted the hose that goes to the uh, washer jets and instead of it going to the washer jets I've put it uh, into the front of the intercooler connected to one nozzle and uh, when you go to spray the windscreen instead of it spraying the windscreen it sprays the intercooler. So I've come along the route here I've done one baseline run with uh, no spray and I've done one with the spray and we're just going to look at the temperatures between the two runs. So we're under power here we've got 45 and 42 this is when we're off the throttle so this is not going to be a too representative of the uh, temperatures I've done a spray they're going into the corner and then we've got another straight here so it more or less identical and this is under power now for both videos and we can see that this is at 45 this is coming at 45 46 it's actually higher let's come a bit further along here so I'm just spraying here we're coming into a corner which leads to a short straight I've done a longer spray here, it's quite a long one. So back on the power about here, still spraying, a lot of spray this time. So we're down at 45, 44 under acceleration, and here we're at uh, 44, 43. I'm going to do a U-turn here, I'm doing a quite a lot of spraying coming into this U-turn. Just going to spin the car around here, so we're back onto the straight. And we're under power now for both videos and we've got 45 versus 42, 43, 41 spraying again quite a long spray holding the spray on and we're getting you know 42, 43 versus 45 and basically this is the whole video that seems to be around a 2 celsius difference when it's sprayed on and there seems to be like a two second delay maybe before the the temperature starts to drop on the intake air temps so all in all is it worth it well I think it's important, also important to add that the intercooler on this car is very thick I think it's got to be um, sort of a three inch uh, thick intercooler and it covers the whole front of the uh, radiator so the I think the intercooler is fantastic ambient temps on this day was around 36 and we're getting sort of nine celsius intake temps so I think we're only getting a nine celsius increase in um, uh, intake temps I think that uh, just says what a good job the uh, intercooler is doing. So is it worth it? On this particular car, I'd say the 2 Celsius drop for the hassle that's involved, i.e. having to manually spray the intercooler and setting up the pipe work and the associated jet, I don't think it's worth it. Plus, you've got to remember to refill it. If you've got a, a smaller intercooler, a, okay, you might get bigger benefits with a smaller intercooler, i.e. if you get an intake temps like 65 instead of 45. You might see bigger drops in temperature but then i would also expect that you're having to spray more water on the intercooler this run here i think lasted about five minutes and i probably went through around two or three hundred mil of fluid in six minutes so i add that out to an hour times it by 10 you're looking at three liters an hour plus i'm having to manually spray it which is not preferable it's better to be better to be changing gear so it's definitely felt a bit slower doing the manual spray plus you have to remember to do it so all in all, I think if, you, if you're wondering, can I just spray water on my stock intercooler and expect the same difference? I don't think so. It's not going to be as reliable as a big intercooler. So ultimately, I think you need to go for an intercooler upgrade if you've got uh, high intake temps. That's my opinion. If you've, got, um, if you've done a test like this on, a, like on an undersized intercooler, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you found with it. Uh, that's it for this video guys if you found it informative obviously give it a give it a thumbs up if you've got time if you're not a subscriber already subscribe to the channel look after yourselves and i'll see you again next time